Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Chief Sweet, and today we're gonna go on a Facebook Marketplace journey. Now, if you're new to the channel, I do reptile stuff, I do insect stuff, I just do pet stuff. But um, today, what well, one thing is what I like to do. If you are new to the channel, um, I'm very, I'm very like new as in like I only have, probably have like two subscribers as of right now. But one thing I was gonna make this video on is because if you are new to like getting reptiles or if you wanna get a reptile or anything like that or whatever it is, a fish, if you wanna get a fish, any kind of pet that requires an aquarium, a great place to look for an aquarium is on Facebook Marketplace. It used to be Craigslist, but Craigslist is kinda of dead. You can still, t you know, you can still check out Craigslist. But Facebook Marketplace is like the new Craigslist. I feel like you could find so much stuff on there. And that's what today's video is. I found a, 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 a freaking good deal on an enclosure for reptiles. But before that, this week I missed out on two great deals. Not because I didn't have the money, but because someone beat me to the punch. This is how great it was. There was a 55 gallon fish aquarium for free. And I missed it by just falling asleep. I fell asleep and the guy listed it like at 10 p.m. I woke up 7 a.m., checked Facebook Marketplace, messaged him, he's like, it's already gone. I was like, oh, my, in that short time, it was gone. But a free 50, it was in great shape too. So that's what you could be missing. And even this week, uh, there was two Exoterra enclosures, both of them, in a, in, as a bundle for 90 bucks. And they were medium sized enclosures. I missed those as well, but I still managed to get one Exoterra and that's where this will start off on. Let's go. All right, so I'm with the wonderful, beautiful wife, Kelly. If you don't know, follow her on Instagram. She's a makeup artist, beautiful stuff. <laughs> and we're on our way there. And the first thought that always goes to my mind when we're going to this place is, how is this person gonna kill me? Are they gonna, you know, immediately just shut me in the van? Shoot me? I don't know, but that's immediately what goes on. It never happens, but. I don't know, I always, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it hasn't happened yet. Today may be the day, but we're gonna meet them. And in Oklahoma, if they're not in the town that you want to buy the stuff from, it's always gonna be like an hour away or 30 minutes. And so it's just literally nothingness, a straight drive. I've been driving straight for 20 miles and it is great rainy skies. I'm getting very sleepy, but I hope the stuff's in good condition. I asked her and she said it was okay, but we'll see. Back to the, uh, the good old, uh, I think I'm gonna die. We're only two miles away and it is the middle of nowhere. Like, I, there's a car in front of me, but it is in the middle of nowhere because I see no Dollar General is where we're supposed to meet, but kind of scary. Maybe I was right. Maybe today's the day, guys. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna turn left. More nowhere. Alrighty, it says we're getting close. We're 0 0.08 miles away. Nothing. We're gonna die. <laughs> we're almost there. Alrighty. A quarter mile. I feel like I need to hold the camera down low key. I know, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right in her face. <laughs> <gasps> oh shit! There is one! Turn right. What the fuck? Continue straight. Wait, turn right here? Or no, turn right up here. Okay. Oh my god. In the middle of nowhere. Look at this. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. We got it. It looks good. Oh, it even came with ceramic. Oh, yes, nice. Did it come with a timer? Oh my god. Cashed. Cashed. That uh, bulb, or the. Um, Little dome right there is like thirty to forty dollars itself. Um, it came with a timer, probably like ten twenty dollars. A little dripper, some plants. So just alone, I feel like I got a hundred dollars worth of stuff besides the cage. Okay, so here it is. You know, I've always actually wanted one of these when I was a kid. Like, I've always wanted one of these. And this honestly is gigantic. It's eighteen by eighteen by twenty four. It housed the chameleon. I don't know if it died. Um. You know, just from, if this house is coming in, just from that carpet, you know, I don't know. Put two and two together. However, it comes, it, one thing though, this, um, this was put on Facebook Marketplace for $150. I got it for $120. I talked to you on $120. But I already knew it was going to be worth f probably $100 just from what's inside alone. As you can see, this is a little dome right here. 
I mean, this dome right here goes for $40 at PetSmart alone. I bet those little, um, even though you can buy these at like freaking shops, like Dollar Tree for like a dollar, those right there in pet stores are like $10 a piece, and there's three of them in there. The little dipper, I don't know how much that little dipper goes for, but there's thermometers. There's one right here. Like, there's digital thermometers like everywhere in here. Um, there's a dish, there's a water bowl. I think there's a timer in there. Um, there's a vine for him to hang on. I think that one is just a tree limb with suction cups. But we're gonna break into this more and see what's in here. Um, the only flaw I found for buying this is a little melted stuff right here because the lamp was probably too close to this and it melted it. That happens sometimes. Um, honestly, everything works perfectly that I know of. And as you can tell, it's probably in the garage or something. There's a ladybug. There's a little bit of kind of, I don't know. The, the mesh is still good. Everything is still wonderful. No glass is broken. I just gotta clean it up. Even though I'm an adult though, I still kind of feel like I never was gonna, gonna buy an Exoterra because it was just so expensive. I could not bring myself to buy one of these. I mean, come on, this is like, this this enclosure alone was probably like $300 and that's like an Xbox One. I don't, man, I don't even wanna buy an Xbox One. Jesus, there's a molded cricket that terrified me. Um, a nice water bowl with what looks like dead mealworm or dead superworm and a cricket in it. However, these goes for like 20 bucks. You're gonna have to clean this all up. Hardcore. I mean, they pretty much, if animals in here died and they were just like, all right, throw it in the garage. It's, they did not clean this out. It was dead. They gave it away. No, they probably, it's probably most likely died. Who, uh, guess in the comments if you think it died. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure it died. Um, they just left it all in here. There's just literal poop all over this thing. So we're gonna have to clean it all up. I hope you can see what it looks like dirty. There's a lot of dirt right there. Okay, so the more I looked into this, the more I realized these people never cleaned this tank. I don't think it's left it to die, but this is, I mean, maybe, you know, maybe that this is a buildup over time, or I don't know, but there's so much cricket poop and there's so much dead crickets under here, and as you can see, there's a mealworm over there. Um, there was just so much stuff in here that was like actual insects for whatever was in here to eat. Most likely the chameleon. And I, this was, I'm telling you, look, this, it, disgusting, absolutely filthy. All right, guys, so it's all cleaned out. As you can tell, it's pretty darn crisp, clear now. Look at that, look at that. It is beautiful. Oh my goodness, there's a little bit of lime scale there. That's okay, you know what I mean? I'm gonna probably put a background on it anyways. I'm very happy with this purchase. Now, I will talk about this. Um, the screen, if you can see it. Now, the screen is kind of like dinged up in a few places, but if you, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but on the back, you can actually peel the screen up. And I have screen, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace the screen. Now, the plants. Let's talk about the plants that it came with. Okay, so I had to put this in boiling water, scrub it, and then afterwards I put it in the um, washing machine with no detergent, and I got it back out, and I have it soaking in some more boiling water. This is extremely hot water. Um, and so hopefully that will clean it. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of it through the camera. However, it looks good. So we have four plants actually in there that it came with. So four plants, I got that. And over here, I guess we got like a little mealworm bowl. We got a timer as well. It came with a carpet that I threw, it, there was a carpet inside that I threw it away and I, this was uh, in a box. Um, obviously the do dual dome lights. And I washed this as well. We got the T-Rex skull. Now this is what I was gonna talk about. So this right here, I didn't know what it went for, but turns out, I guess it goes to another aquarium because this is a ZooMed. I don't know if you can see it. This is a ZooMed screen and that's an Exoterra. So yeah, I guess I got, I mean, I'm not mad, I'm, I'll take it. <laughs> but I got a little free little screen here. boys she is done look at it it looks clean as a whistle sharp as a pistol I mean this whole thing is just 
Magnificent, boys. And I am not gonna lie to you, the water bowl, I just threw out. That thing was disgusting as all heck, and I was like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna use it for anything, so I chunked it. But anyways, this, like I said, the whole video, I love this thing. This is something I wanted as a kid, and I finally got one. Um, as, long, as well as supplies with it. Um, I don't know if you anybody knew that you can replace a screen on these. Um, yeah, I just got it at Home Depot. The screen at Home Depot, the spline or stuff. It got really crazy because the um, Exoterra, they super glued the corners and I had to really pry out. So if I didn't get good footage replacing it, I am sorry. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. I will see you next time.